called Strawberry Marshmallow Crisp Ice Cream Sandwiches, and I found this idea on the Pillsbury website. Starting off with a large saucepan, add to that one half cup of butter, stir it around until it's completely melted, and then add four cups of miniature marshmallows. I didn't have enough miniature marshmallows, so I supplemented them with some large marshmallows to bring it up to that four cup mark. Stir that over low heat until everything is completely melted together. Now add five cups of your preferred cereal. The recipe asks for rice Chex cereal, but I found the Crispix cereal that I use that instead. Stir the cereal in until it's almost all combined and then add one additional cup of miniature marshmallows and stir that together. Once it's stirred together, you're gonna put it into a nine by 13 inch baking dish. Now what I did is I greased the dish, I put down a piece of parchment paper and then I sprayed it again with some cooking spray. Spread out your cereal and marshmallow mixture in the bottom of the pan using a spatula that's been lightly greased with butter so it doesn't stick. And just flatten it out to a nice even layer and then put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or so until it's no longer hot to the touch. Remove it from the pan as you can see the parchment paper stayed stuck to it so it's not sticking to the countertop. And then using a sharp knife, cut them into 12 more or less identical squares. Then place one half cup or one scoop of ice cream on top of a square, smoosh it around until it looks like it's evenly spread out and then add another piece on top and you have a completed ice cream sandwich. Place this in a freezer proof container or wrap it in plastic wrap and put it back in the freezer to let it firm up a little bit. Okay, these are my impressions of this recipe. I enjoyed this recipe, especially at this point there where they had just been made and the cereal layer was still soft. Once you put it in the freezer for a little while though, that cereal layer gets very hard and very difficult to bite into. And you end up scratching up the roof of your mouth with the sharp cereal bits. So what I would suggest is, first of all, cut those big portions in half so that you'll end up with 12 sandwiches instead of six. And when you're gonna serve these, take them out of the freezer a few minutes ahead of time and let them sit on the countertop just to let the ice cream and the cereal layer soften up a bit. So they are pretty good, but it's not something I would make again. I prefer the traditional cookie style for my ice cream sandwiches. Yo-Yo Max 12, home of the Diet Free Zone and a really cool cow kettle. Please click on subscribe for more fun, colorful, delicious and decadent desserts and goodies, all on Yo-Yo Max 12.